We are nothing. I can just stay pole, pole to everyone, pole to the family. <laughs> the family and even the whole world. And we just want to say pole to the family. We know Gip Tumas did his part. And he was yet even to enjoy what he had worked hard for. We looked forward for him to see him run during the Olympics. I don't know what we will be looking forward for. As um, but to and asalam. After chir chir, nilikuwa na rudi kwenda jia flux. Nilipofika hapa junction, nikasikia mtu anapiga nduru, nikageuza pikipiki na kimbia mpaka hapa kufika hapa. Nikaiona hii gari nimeanguka pale jini na kulikuwa na lady alikuwa amesimama hapo alikuwa anapiga nduru. So mimi nikasimamisha eh, pikipiki nikatafuta namba ya OCS nikampigia OCS aka receive kaniambia sawa eh, atuo itachukuliwa. After that kuna gari litangulia kufika hapa kufika hapa wakaniambia saidia huyu mama nikaeka kwa pikipiki nikapeleka hata savanis na nikarudi hata hapa the police officers are just here to confirm what exactly happened from nyaru area this is uh, along the eldoret eldama ravine road back to his studio Many thanks indeed. Alvis Kaske there just uh, reporting from Eldoret. Uh, we are waking up to a very tragic uh, event that happened uh, at around 12 a.m. Uh, today, early morning, and uh, the world has lost its finest. The world has lost one of the fastest men that is ever known. The world has known one of the tender hearted Kiptum. Kelvin Kiptum was only 24, and of course, he had a lot that was awaiting him. Uh, such a promising man that we've lost as uh, Kenyans we mourn uh, the world continues to mourn and to pay tribute to this greatest athlete that we've athlete that we've known in this epic of time in history and uh, I'm here uh, just also uh, commiserating with the family and uh, with the panelists I'm joined this morning by Farah Malim who is a member of parliament Adab. also we have with us Dr. Makali Mulu, who is uh, the member of parliament for Kitui Central. We're joined later by Danson Mungatana and also by Hilary Segei. In mourning uh, with uh, fellow Kenyans and the world as it is right now, uh, as we continue to, of course, see the information trickling in and uh, also condolences uh, trickling in. Kiptum and his one day's coach, that is Gavai's Haki Zimana, they died in the coalition. And that has been confirmed also by Abbott World Marathon Majors and uh, El Elgeo Marquet Police, as you saw there, that we gave you that information. That incident just to prime you this morning occurred at uh, Cap Target Road. And uh, we'll continue to just give you the information as it comes in. I just want to give uh, an opportunity to Farah Malim and also for uh, we have Farah Malim and uh, Dr. Makale Molu to pay tribute to this. We're walking up to a very sad news. Yeah, uh, sad news this morning, Farah Malim, one of the finest, youngest uh, that we've ever known in this country and this epic of time, down through the stream of history. Uh, such a promising young man, uh, breaking Elod Kipchoge's even record. Uh, what would you have to say this morning? It's a loss. It's a, it's a very 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 big loss and and, and uh, you know we you can only we can we 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 saddened we are saddened he is he is literally the best of the best mm -hmm. the, the 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 top of the and to lose him at this tender age when he has so much going for him mm -hmm. and a chance that he was going to break that record also in future uh, it's, 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 it's something that I think we all find it very difficult to take, but mm -hmm. uh, our road is also yeah. is worried us a lot. Those are yeah. the, the pictures that we have for you coming from Eldorita. As you can see, it, uh, we had our reporter Elvis Koske who was on the ground and is keeping tabs of this particular developing story as it stands right now. Uh, 
Two people have died, as I've mentioned. One woman survived by the name of Sharon Kiptom, just listening to the police uh, commander there from Eldoret, just giving us those guitar details. And uh, we're eagerly waiting to hear also from uh, the sports fraternity, trying to reach uh, also to Ababu Namombo, who is uh, the sports minister, to also just uh, hear from him as well. His, uh, uh, his uh, phone is going unanswered. As soon as we get that, we'll also get uh, some information to relay on what also the government is, is planning to do in regard to this uh, breaking story that we're having this morning. I have with me also uh, Dr. Makali Mulu, uh, just uh, to mention uh, just a few to pay his tribute, say condolences, and also his deepest sympathy mm -hmm. as well. Dr. Makali, what a heart to interest Yeah, you. yeah, the bad. It's, it's actually indeed a very sad morning uh, for us in Kenya to have lost such a young, young person age 24 is quite young and uh, this was our world champion so uh, as a country i want to join my fellow kenyans uh, to condole with the, the family members and uh, his friends because i'm sure he has a lot of friends both local and international friends mm -hmm. so i just want to say Paul. normally <coughs> in kenya we would say a jada in a kinga but when you look at the, the wreckage, you, you, you can see this must be a very serious, serious accident. And uh, since the police have taken up the, the matter, I think more details will be coming up as we, we proceed to see what really happened. But it's really sad for this country to lose such a serious champion, marathon champion, because we don't have very many of this type. Mm -hmm. So it's really sad. But you know, said and done, Death is there and we must be prepared for it. Mm. You, also, you also know very well, Diba, uh, we also lost the former police commander, <coughs> Kingori. Kingori was also a very well-known person, so we also understand concerns with his family members. Mm. Yeah, but we will pray for them and uh, request the mighty God mm -hmm. to, 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 to comfort them, strengthen them during this difficult time. Indeed. Indeed. Yes. The world is in a uh, whippy theory mode right now, so to speak. And uh, this is what you're waking up to if you're joining us this morning here on Morning Prime, just to prime you that we've lost one of Kenya's finest and the world's finest. The condolences continue to uh, pour in. We have also the World Athletics uh, President, Seb Ko, who paid tribute to Kiptum. And he said, quote unquote, we're shocked and deeply saddened to learn of the devastating loss of Kelvin Kiptum and his coach, uh, Gavier. Hakizimana. Gavie was at one this and he says, on behalf of all the world athletics, we send our deepest condolences to their families, friends, teammates, and uh, the Kenyan nation. And uh, it was only earlier this week in Chicago, the place where Calvin set his extraordinary marathon world record, that I was able to officially ratify his historic time an incredible athlete, leaving an incredible legacy. We will miss him dearly. That is from Seb Cole, who is the World Athletics President, uh, just paying his tribute to Kelvin Kiptum. You can see him there early in his action, right? Very gracious, uh, graceful uh, runner with a very good gait, strong. I want just also to hear from the Senator of uh, Bomet, Hillary Segate, just also uh, pay his uh, condolences and deepest sympathy to this shocking uh, news that we're waking up to this morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, indeed, Dubai, it's, it's such a sad day. It's a very sad morning that uh, we are starting the week, we are starting the month, uh, early in the year, so to speak, with such a very sad uh, uh, incident. Uh, Kitum, uh, as we've all uh, known, was an upcoming athlete. Mm -hmm. I'm saying upcoming because remember it's just last year when we broke the world record in Chicago. Yeah, yes. And uh, at 24 years old, it's so sad. It's, it's so devastating. It is very painful uh, as a country to lose such a young uh, man who, who who took the name of Kenya to a different level, to another level. And uh, there was a lot of hope in so many people, including fans who celebrate uh, athletes. 
And uh, indeed, I know we are yet to know more about the circumstances leading to the accident. You've already mentioned the fact that the police have already taken over the, the matter as of now. But it is so sad. We're very sad. We pay a lot of tribute to him, uh, his fellow athletes, and Kenya Clarge is mourning mm -hmm. for the loss of such, such an upcoming uh, sportsman. He was a role model to many. He proved that you actually can indeed break the record. Remember uh, when uh, he, 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 he prepared himself towards uh, um, running the Chicago Marathon where he broke the record. It was one of those uh, moments where everyone else was so happy to be associated with his dream that it is valid, especially when you are truly prepared and when you're keen on making sure that you achieve it. He inspired so many young athletes. At his age, he was such a go-getter. Mm -hmm. And we are so sad as a country. We are so sad as a community of athletes. We are so sad as Kenya generally to have lost him. And we ask that the family be granted sufficient grace by the Almighty to accept this particular sad, sad thing. And also Kenya Clarge, the athletic community, I know will, it will, it will not be easy for them to accept the fact that one of their own young upcoming athletes is no more. Very sad indeed. Mm. And we say poorly to the family. And, and, and it, it brings us uh, to begin a continuation of the conversation about our road safety. Mm -hmm. It is something that uh, we cannot take for granted because the numbers are not as simple as uh, we would only say. It's not only Kiptum, it's only that we have had this conversation about Kiptum because he is uh, a world record uh, athlete. Uh, and, uh, the rest of Kenyans also, we've got so many other accidents across the country mm -hmm. where it is something that we cannot just ignore and say it's only one. It is one among the many whom we have lost. How is our road safety? How are we when we're on the roads? How are our drivers being uh, trained? How are police officers uh, uh, get involved in ensuring that we are uh, compliant with the road regulations and the safety demands that we are expected? How do we uh, for example, uh, generally approve of our motor vehicles to be roadworthy. It is something that should be a continuous conversation so that we reduce the losses that we do experience on our roads in terms of losing uh, very many Kenyans. <coughs> Excuse me. Very sad indeed. And we say, uh, I sent my condolences to the family of uh, Kelvin Kitum. I sent my condolences to the uh, athletics family. Uh, the sports community at large and all the people of Kenya, his friends and uh, everyone else who definitely will be and has been affected by this very sad uh, occurrence. Mm -hmm. May his soul and that of his coach rest in eternal peace and we pray for the survivor uh, who was uh, uh, one of the passengers in that uh, motor vehicle. We pray for her mm -hmm. so that she can uh, get uh, well soon. We pray for the doctors who are attending to her so that they are able to uh, bring her back mm. to normalcy. Indeed. Thank you. For of course, you heard uh, from uh, Elvis Koske that uh, she was uh, also screaming yes. uh, just uh, the trauma that uh, came uh, with uh, this particular tragic event that uh, happened this morning, early this morning at, uh, at around 12 a.m. and uh, just to remind you as well that uh, Kiptum was due to run this year's uh, Rotterdam Marathon in April in what was promoted as an attempt to break the two-hour barrier in an official race for the first time following Kipchoge's unofficial run in uh, one hour, 59 minutes, uh, 40 seconds and two milliseconds in Vienna in 20, 20, 2019. And uh, we continue to pay tribute. We have also with us uh, Danson Mangatana who is a senator of the Tana River and uh, also is shocked and uh, heart wrenched by this particular story. Just want to hear from him uh, this morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Morning. What a shock. Yes, sir. We want to also express our condolences 
uh, to the friends and family of uh, the late tomb. We uh, believe that uh, everything happens uh, because God allows it to do so. But sometimes uh, it is very difficult to, to understand. This is a young man at the prime of his time. But uh, we just want to ask family, friends, to put their trust in God, uh, that God uh, gave us Kiptum for the time he was with us, and uh, he has taken him at the time that he wanted. And so we say, Poleni, and uh, everything, all glory to God. Uh, that's all I would say for that. Indeed. Indeed. Right, thank you very much, and uh, we'll continue to prime you on this as well. But uh, I just want to run you by the story that uh, we had earlier just to put here on air, where Elvis Kosge was just giving us the details of that. Uh, we will replay this and replay it until uh, everyone is informed of it. And then also we'll just circle back and show you what we have in the dailies today. This is a story that we were staying with and the world is staying with as well. Uh, this is bound to get a lot of reactions so far. We're trying to reach also to the Ministry of Sports so that we can get uh, to hear from them as well this morning. Uh, we just want to hear what is uh, from there as well as far as this is concerned. So Elvis Kosuke had uh, given that particular story. Let's just listen from him again. Uh, so that uh, you can get all the gritty details if you didn't if you didn't get that information earlier so that you at least get to know what really happened on the ground today along Eldoret in Eldoret so far but just to prime you as we continue uh, my director just trying to put his duck in a row as well this is a story that we were staying with this morning and uh, let's just hear from Elvis Koske who had actually sent us this particular clip earlier today about the road accident here also from the police commandant. In Chepkori in the county of Elgiomarakwet, where athletics enthusiasts and Kenyans in general are mourning this evening. This follows the death of Kelvin Kiptum Cheriot, a Kenyan, a long distance runner, the marathon world record holder. is the only person in history to run the marathon under the two hours and one minute in a record eligible race. And I'm now joined by the OCPD just to paint a picture of what has happened. Kindly bwana OCPD, asante kwa kujunga nasi. Kindly tell Kenyans ni nini haswa imefanyika inamusisha mwanariadha wa bingwa upewa ki mataifa kindly. Bring us to speed, sir. Uh, thank you so much again. My name is Abdullah Dair, OSPD KO South, uh, Elge Market County. Uh, the evening of Sunday, uh, towards the end of the Sunday, I mean the late evening, we got uh, an accident along uh, Ravine uh, Eldoret Road involving uh, vehicle registration number K KDL566 letter F, make Toyota Premium, blue in color. The occupant of the said vehicle were three. Uh, one believed to be Kelvin Kiptum, uh, Chicago World Record holder, and then uh, Gervias Akiba, Rwandese National, uh, believed to be the coach of the late Kelvin Kiptum. And then the third person was a lady Sharon Kiptum, who is still survive. So the accident happened along Eldoret Ravine Road, and uh, we don't suspect uh, any maybe cause of the accident to be oncoming vehicle or animal or any pass or, or any, any pedestrian crossing the road, we find maybe uh, the vehicle just veered over the road and they moving to the beach and they hit a, a big tree. And that's where the vehicle ended. The nature of the uh, of the accident. Umasema kumbwa walikufa instantly ama ilikuaje? No, we just pick them. Uh, from there with the ambulance or uh, Chip Cody or the sub county hospital, the doctor pronounced that. Is this an isolated incident? Am I in Komaraya Kwanza Kumba Pometokia Ajali Katka in Oili? Ajali would talk here, Gasana, Marakwamara, uh, Barabarangali, uh, Atakama in a Magari Mingi, like in the area and by the Baridi, near and by the Kwagala Mist, near the Kwagala Forest. So at times, uh, in, Aquaga, uh, in Aquaga, very hard to see, you know, to see far. So, I just want to talk about Mara. Your message of uh, condolence to Kenyans, the fa family of the late Kelvin Kiptum Cheruot, and also the athletics world. I say to Poleni, uh, to our Kenya Yote, now to our Kenya South, 
sababu tushapoteza we lost a very great person uh, who have just uh, who was just killed recently from what, from the tests that he underwent and uh, we have lost a great person so i say sorry to everybody it's a sad thing but it has to happen also at times yeah so let's just keep off the road and be vigilant on our roads and the motorists to be very careful when driving Okay. Thank, you. Thank you very much. You've heard from the OCPD, KO South, and of course from here we'll be headed to Rescos uh, Hospital. This is in Eldoret in the county of Wasingishu. Thank you, Elvis. It is a devastating night to the country and to the sporting fraternity for the loss of our brother and friend Kiptum, the world record holder. We have not come to terms to, with what has happened, considering that a few weeks ago, less than a week ago, his world record was ratified, and he was even yet to enjoy the fruits of his labor. And tonight, we are here at the hospital, mock morning, with all these people who are supporters, family, friends, of Kiptum, his coach, it's a sad moment. A sad morning to be here to, to hear about the tragic accident that has happened. Uh, personally, when I was called, I didn't believe and until I arrived here. So I witnessed and I saw my, for myself. I want to say it's really sad uh, because we didn't expect this one. Uh, I want to say sorry to the family, the athletics fraternity and the entire country. Uh, may God uh, comfort us at this trying moment, because I can say for sure we are still in uh, denial that Kiptum has not left here. But uh, I want to say Paul. just want to ask the rest of the members of the country to pray for the family uh, of the departed heroes, and that uh, we shall have peace in our hearts. We shall also join hands with the family and uh, the sporting fraternity to ensure that uh, Kevin Kiptum and his coach uh, get a decent, uh, you know, you know, send off uh, from the day side of us. We want to say Polleni Sana to the Kenyans and much more to the family. In denial as athletes, and uh, I can't say it is only athletes, but uh, the whole world. Uh, we have all known Kiptum as our best, and uh, even he was in our team for the Olympics. So. We are just in this world as we are nothing. I can just say, Pole, Pole to everyone, Pole to all the family. <laughs> the family and even the whole world. And we just want to say Pole to the family. We know Kiptumas did his part. And he was yet even to enjoy what he had worked hard for. We looked forward for him to see him run during the Olympics. I don't know what we will be looking forward for. As um, but to and a salam. After Chirchir, nilikuwa na Rudi kwenda Jia Flux. Nilipofika hapa junction, nikasikia mtu anapiga nduru, nikageuza pikipiki na kimbia mpaka hapa kufika hapa. Nikaiona hii gari anguka pale jini na kulikuwa na lady alikuwa amesimama hapo alikuwa anapiga nduru so mimi nikasimamisha eh, nika pikipiki nikatafuta namba ya OCS nikampigia OCS aka receive kaniambia sawa eh, atu itachukuliwa after that kuna gari litangulia kufika hapa kufika hapa wakaniambia saidia huyu mama the police officers are just here to confirm what exactly happened. From Nyaru area, this is uh, along the Eldoret, Eldama Ravine Road. Back to his studio. Well, we're just scrolling through Twitter and seeing some of the tributes that are actually uh, being paid here. Uh, we have... Uh, David Rudisha, uh, who says, I'm shocked and deeply saddened. Let me try and zoom in there. 
so that we can see clearly. Uh, I'm shocked and deeply saddened to learn the passing of Kelvin Kiptum and his coach, uh, Gavier Akizimana. My condolences to the families and friends athletics uh, fraternity and Kenya at large this is a huge loss uh, this is from also the world champion uh, David Rudisha also we have Honorable Eden Dwale who is saying it is with a profound sense of sorrow that I have learnt about the untimely passing on passing on of Kelvin Kiptum following a grisly accident in Eldoret Kiptum at only 24 was already a world marathon record holder with a whole horizon to conquer our thoughts and prayers uh, with a family let me try and see if we can get more there uh, with with a family and athletics fraternity also we do have uh, with us let me see as I'd seen earlier the posting there of uh, Seb, Seb Ko, who is uh, the president of World Athletics Kenya we're trying to reach also to the other athletes that uh, we've had so far who are also members of parliament, parliament like uh, Wesley, Wesley Corridor as well, uh, who can also pay his tribute much, much uh, to the chagrin, of course, or to the angst of so many people who wake up uh, right now really angered and uh, sorrowed deeply by what has happened so far. And this is what we continue to pay tribute uh, to this morning. Right, uh, we, I just want to first of all, maybe just pick up on the issue of uh, road safety because lately, I think uh, this year, since December, we've been waking up to this tragic stories about road safety and we had also Hilary Sigay just alluding to that, that uh, it's something we need to look into. Just I think uh, two weeks ago, we had uh, almost uh, 11 people dying uh, through a road, tragic road accident. Let me just try and see what, where the road was actually. And uh, this has been raising concerns regarding our safety on the roads as well. Now, it has claimed one of our finest as well. Faramali, road safety. We, we, you know, this is... Uh... We just have to internalize the culture mm -hmm. ourselves. You can, you can, we, the, the, the police and the traffic will always tell us everything. But there's a desire for the society itself to internalize the need for us to go safe mm -hmm. on our roads. Yeah. Safe on our roads. Mm -hmm. And then, and, you know, particularly at night, it is just so bad. Because one, we have many, many vehicles, which mm -hmm. is a sign of affluence yes. in the country. I mean, people are buying vehicles because they are, they are, they are, they are going up the ladder in, in life and they, are, they can afford it. But uh, at the same time, we, we, we need to be very serious on some of these things. Mm -hmm. Uh, over speeding is always there. Overtaking is there. Recklessly overtaking is there. I don't know how this one happened. Whether it rolled or it crashed into somebody, I don't see any. Yeah, we don't. We have very scanty news yeah, about yeah. it. We're not, we're not getting exactly what hearing, happened. Just hearing from 